Hello and welcome to a new video about measurements. Last time we talked about the error parts. Uh, today I want to tell you something about uh, how to deal with them. Yeah? How this is foreseen in the measurement world. Uh? Well, we talked about this thing here. Uh, we had error parts, we had the theoretical curve. This is uh, what I want. This with the theoretical curve, I would make no mistake, right? And this is then the curve I I really have determined. Okay. So the real characteristics and this really have determined. This has a name. Yeah. It's not really determining the characteristic of a measurement system. This is called calibration. Calibrieren in German. Yeah. Calibrate. Calibrate. Calibrate, or sometimes also called called uh, gauge, or in Britain gauge. Yeah, in German this would be calibrieren. Okay. What's that? That's the recording of exactly this real characteristic. Yeah. This is the recording of the characteristic. Of the measurement system. Huh? Calibrate. Huh? We've not adjusted. Huh? We've not adjusted. This is the next step. Yeah? So we can adjust or trim. Okay. So it's adjust or trim. In German, in German. Uh, this would be justieren. Justieren. Okay. What is adjust? Adjust is try to adjust or trim our measurement system to get rid of the systematic errors. I mean, these errors, they are systematic. Yeah? And if I adjust or trim a measurement system with some elements, I don't know eh, how, depends on the measurement system, then this thing is then adjusted or trimmed. Okay. Adjust measurement system. To minimize The, the systematic errors. After I calibrate, I can adjust. Okay, that's this. And if this adjusting, if this calibration, adjusting, and trimming, and so on, is done by some officials, uh, uh, then it's called adjusted to standards. Okay. Adjusted to standard. In in German we have an, a, a word for this. This is called Eichi. Eichi. Uh, oaking. <laughs> yeah, it's actually like the tree. Eichi. Adjusted to standard is if some official is doing this for you. Okay? Done by officials. Yeah. In Austria, these officials are
Bundeseiche und Vermessung sehen. Ja? BIV. These, these are the ones who are doing this. Ja? Some things have to be adjusted to standards by, by officials. Ja? So these things here, these things here, they can be done everybody. This can be done by everybody. This has to be done by officials. Because here usually it's about money. All right. So if you go to the gas station, fill up your tank, there is written, I don't know how many liters you put in. You know, it has to be, it has to be checked. Yeah? If nobody is, is, is just showing more liters. Yeah? Or if you go to the butcher or I don't know, and there is, you buy that and that many is, Kilos of steak, or doesn't really matter. You know, there, there are those things. They have to be adjusted to standards by some officials. Yeah? If you're paying heat, gas, current, electrical power, and so on, everything is measured. Everything must be in periodic times, yeah? From in periods. We have to check this. Yeah? This is by law. Well, it's usually the same all around the world. Huh? So these are the things. Yeah? And I already wrote here, adjusted to standards. Yeah? Yeah. What are the standards? Yeah? So they are measurement standards. All right? So we have here somewhere some measurement standards. In German, they are called normale, yeah? measurement standards. There are different, different normale, yeah? different measurement standards. Well, there's the world measurement standard. These are, these are kept at some locations in the world. All right. So this has the highest, highest level. Highest level is somehow the, the world standard. Say, this is one kilo, this is whatever, yeah? there's a world standard. Yeah? Then usually we have national standards. These are kept in Austria, they're kept by the Bundeseichen Vermessungsamt. Okay? By the officials who somehow know how much, know best. They know best. <laughs> in the nation, okay? And they have to check their standards with the world standard, of course. Yeah? They have to check this against this and then they get a certificate and they say, okay, do you have a certificate? Uh, so the national standard is as good as the world standard. Please come back in ba -ba -ba years okay? to keep your national standard up to date or up to reality. Yeah? World standard, national standard. Then there is the company standard, let's say. Yeah. Those are kept in the different companies. Yeah. So if you have a manufacturing company and you are manufacturing some parts and whatever, yeah, you have to be sure that your measurement devices work accordingly. Okay. So you keep at certain places in your facility, you keep a company standard. You have to check this against the national standard. You get not a degree, you get a certificate. Yeah, you check this against the national standard. Your company standard is valid. Please come back in whatever years. Yeah, company standard. And then, of course, it's not very practical that everybody in the company runs at certain places in the company to check their measurement system. Yeah, because usually, you know, uh, micrometers or something like this, you check them simply at your place. That's the standard in use. Okay, the lowest level is the standard in use. They are distributed somewhere in the company. They are in use and they need periodically to be checked against the company standard. All right. So. That's the hierarchy of measurement standards. 
Yeah? Like I said, every lower level standard has to be approved against the, the higher level standard. And then you get a certificate and well, that's it. Well, so these are the names we usually use. Uh, Calibrieren, Justieren, Eichen, Calibrate, Adjust, Trim or Adjust to Standards, and then the Measurement Standards. All right. Yeah. Next time, we're going to talk about uh, random errors. How to deal with them. Said, so, okay, these things I, we, we can use to, to handle uh, um, systematic errors. With these steps, check the systematic errors. But there are still random errors. Yeah? Talked about this, the difference. Next time, we're talking about how to deal with them, how to overcome them, how to minimize them. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.